Hello, let's bake sourdough bread together. Most of the time, for most of the recipes, sourdough bread takes at least 24 hours before baking, but this one, you can prepare it overnight and bake it in the morning. So you need to prepare the dough like two, three hours before you go to sleep. And in the morning, before you go to work, you can bake it because that's how uh, I always did it and it was quite um, comfortable for me. So first of all, let's add the flour. I'm gonna make two doughs um, with 600 gram of flour and um, two doughs will be not too small but not too big, medium ones. And add in the salt. Salt is always 2% so I just uh, eyeballed it <laughs> like 10 or 11 gram of salt. I added the Himalayan pink salt and water is around 70%. Most of the time I do it like 70. That is the moisture that I can handle uh, with the dough. After mixing everything, just leave it for 30 minutes to rest. Okay, it's 30 minutes passed, so um, now I will add the sourdough starter or levain. I prepared it beforehand, so we will need 20% of the starter, which is around, uh, which is uh, 120 gram of sourdough starter but like I don't actually really stick to the um, strict measurements so sometimes I put like 100 grams of uh, sourdough or like 80 grams of sourdough it, it, it just works no need to worry about the measurement and after adding it uh, you need to mix it blend it to the dough like as you're seeing you need to like stretch and fold the dough like stretch it up to the air and fold it and do it multiple times and you will feel the dough will get more sticky and do it for a while like um, two or three minutes And we're done and um, there are some scratches left on on inside the jar which I will use later to make the levain again so okay we left for 30 minutes again and now we start the stretch and fold sessions I had two hours that I was staying so in, at home, so I did four sessions of stretch and fold each 30 minutes. So this is the first session. I used this um, bowl with cold water to do the fold and stretch to prevent my hand get too sticky. And after 30 minutes, the second session, and you can see the dough is already started to grow a little bit, and there's a bit of air inside the dough. And same thing all over again, do the stretch and fold. Few minutes, one or two minutes is enough. Again, after another 30 minutes, 
the third round of the stretch and fold actually you can do like two sessions of stretch and fold like you can do it for two times for an hour and then you can start the bulk proofing so it really is up to you whether you have time or not I would uh, suggest two to four rounds of stretch and fold okay this is the last stretch and fold thing and you can see each time the dough is growing more and more so you can see there is some like blisters and like air inside the dough so now we will leave it for bulk proofing so it's prefer preferable for to leave it in a warm temperature i'm just using my heater inside my house and it will be on it for two hours okay two hours has passed and look at how much it grew like it already it's the dough stuck into the actually the cover okay so now we will um transfer the dough to the other surface and we will divide it in two pieces and shape it and we will transfer it into the proofing uh, container I use the scrapper to transfer the dough onto the wooden board. Mm, you can also put some cooking oil on your hands and it will it won't stick. The dough won't stick onto your hand. Just stretch the dough. Just cover it. Mend it together. No worries at all. Okay, then just leave it for 15 minutes so I'm gonna use these two containers one is uh, an oil basket another one is just food container food container glass container and I'm gonna use some kitchen towel that I have and I will dust, dust some flour Now let's shape the doughs into round shape, so be very gentle with it. Your hands might get sticky, but it's fine. Use some dry flour or some oil, both are fine. And first just fold each side together and um, then Turn it around and do this. Okay, we are done with the first toe. So pinch together the bottom of the dough and dust some flour on it to prevent the towel to stick to it and then we will proceed to the second dough So repeat the same process of shaping. It looks actually much better for the second dough. 
Sometimes it's actually quite tricky because it's sticky, but I actually really like this part of shaping and it feels very meditative. So I left the noodles in the fridge for um, 6 hours for overnight and in the morning I'm ready to bake it. I would suggest that do not leave it like more than 12 hours because it will overproof and it won't actually rise nicely when you bake it. So I'm just reusing my old um, parchment papers and Look, the those are much more manageable in the morning. When you bake it, preheat the oven at 200 degrees and I also boil water and put it in a bowl when I bake it for the first 20 minutes and because our oven doesn't have steamer for baking and place the breads. So for 20 minutes, we'll be baking with the water because it will support the dough to rise. And another 20 minutes without the water, I just turn the sides. And it's done. We have these two nice looking but actually the lighting is not very good breads and that's it